In Clavier, you are able to create dynamic codes. The benefit of having dynamic discount codes, it's a automatically generated code for one user. Only one person can use it one time and it cannot be shared with anybody else. It does protect your brand from cannibalizing your discounts. So let's go to my Clavio account and I'll show you how to set up the dynamic Clavio code. Okay, so when you log into your Clavio account on the left side under content, you will see this uh, feature coupons. If for some reason, if it's not available, you can contact the Clavio support and they will enab enable it for you. So there's two ways. You can upload your random codes here, but since it works for Shopify and also Shopify, they have native integrations, but it's also possible to integrate with WooCommerce. In case you have any additional questions how to do it with other platforms, you can contact Clavis support or you can contact us and we can help you with that. So Shopify coupon codes on the right side, you create uh, coupon codes. You put the name test um, test 20 off, for example, 20 off. You can put prefix. It's good for reporting. Let's say if you want to run a report and see how many coupons were used versus you cannot narrow down the random one, but you can have prefix, let's say um, MR25, for example, like which will stand for you for March 20, uh, 2025. Let's do, uh, there's fixed amount, percentage or free shipping. The most common it's percentage or free shipping. So we said 20% off entire order, specific product. You can select specific product or specific collection. For this case, we'll just do entire order. You can put the required minimum. Required minimum typically is done for fixed amount. Let's say if you want to offer 50% off, if the minimum amount is $100. And you can do this as um, at set time or specific date. I would recommend on set time because we'll be including this code in the flows. And expiration, I do not, I do not recommend to put never you need to do the best one is after certain number of days or hours. This is probably the best options and we'll do 24 hours. And why? Uh, you don't want people to have access to your discount codes forever. That's why they need to expire. And on a specific date, it's not good for uh, flows because you need to go and change it. So just do the dynamic one, create, Okay, so the next step, now you go to flows and let's, and now we have this one as in draft mode, so I can easily modify it, click here, click edit. We put the text block, or if you will have any text block uh, already there, you can add the discount code. So this is how discount code works. I don't always remember the discount code tag. It's a dynamic tag, that's why I typically type in, a Clavio discount code tag and you see getting started and just type in tag and this is a tag. So you, also you will find under this video. So this is the tag you need to use. Uh, so let me just remove the formatting. Okay, so we, and instead of this, we need to put our coupon name, which I already forgot the name. So just go to uh, Clavio coupons. So this is our test. Okay, so do preview. And if this uh, dash preview, if your code looks like this, so this is the correct code, it formatted correctly. And when you send it, set it live in a flow, people will receive random random uh, generated codes, like with the symbols, but those codes would be usable for one-time purchases on your website. So this is how you create and use the dynamic, dynamic codes. So we just covered the dynamic discount codes. So now goes to the next section, product feeds in Clavio.